Good afternoon and welcome to today's webinar titled Learn How to Significantly Improve Your Pump Reliability in Just 15 Minutes. This is Tony Deligio. I'm a senior editor with Plastics Technology Magazine. In this presentation, you'll learn about common vacuum conveying pump problems and how to diagnose them using the first wearable retrofit sensor and analytics package created specifically for your vacuum conveying pumps. Our presenters today are Jim Zinsky and Tim Nagel. Jim joined Machine Sense as President and Chief Operating Officer in March 2017. Prior to this, he was an integral part of the product development and market alignment for Machine Sense while managing pneumatic conveying equipment and central system controls as VP of Product Technology for Novatech. He has over 25 years of experience designing equipment and installed systems for plastics processors. He earned his MBA from Carnegie Mellon University and his BSME from the University of Pittsburgh. Tim Nagel is a Senior Vice President of Sales for Novatech leading manufacturer and developer of resin drying, blending, conveying, and downstream extrusion equipment. Tim has been in the plastics industry since 1994, and prior to joining Novatech in 2006, he held positions in engineering with plastics processors, Guardian Automotive Products, Lear Corporation, and Infiltrator Systems, and in product management and sales with extrusion blow molding machinery manufacturer, Graham Engineering. He's a U.S. Army veteran and holds a Bachelor of Science degree from Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania and an MBA from Tiffin University in Tiffin, Ohio. With that, let's uh, kick it over to our presenters and begin today's presentation. Thank you. Well, Jim and I appreciate that warm introduction, and uh, we certainly appreciate everyone taking time out of their day to participate in the webinar with us. I hope that the information we present uh, today will help you to solve some of the issues you may be having in your vacuum conveying systems. I'm sure a lot of our webinar participants can relate to the picture on the screen. This illustration is a lighthearted look at serious issues related to resin conveying systems, and although the picture is funny, the frustration isn't. Inadequate and inconsistent conveying performance can often lead to scenes like this, and the results are costly. First, unplanned and hidden downtime in the form of starved machines can cause missed uh, deliveries, lost profits, and angry bosses. Second, it leads to wasted time and lost pro productivity Chasing conveying problems that can be difficult to diagnose and understand, but with help, they're very preventable. At the heart of most conveying systems is a positive displacement vacuum pump. They're the heartbeat of the factory, moving material from one point to another. Often this vital piece of equipment is placed in remote areas of the plant and forgotten. Until it fails, the material stops flowing. Once the blower has failed, maintenance personnel have to scramble and get the system back online as the expensive costs of downtime. Today, we'll look at frequent causes of premature blower damage and some methods to identify uh, how to correct these conditions so you can prevent costly pump failures and unplanned downtime. First, let's put a perspective on the cost of failure as it relates to vacuum conveying pumps the top graphic illustrates a typical positive displacement pump replacement unit. The replacement cost for a PD pump can range from two to $5,000 or more depending on the blower model. These costs are typical for pumps commonly used for conveying uh, pellets and regrind through a plastics plant. The bottom graphic shows a vacuum pump assembly pulling plastic resin from a remote material source to an injection molding machine. We understand that the cost of machine productivity uptime varies from plant to plant and processor to processor. In this example, we assume one hour of machine uptime is worth about $40 in revenue. Your numbers may vary slightly or significantly depending on the nature of your process. So the time to remove the failed pump and install the new pump can also vary. If the replacement pump is in stock at your facility, a reasonable turnaround time for the repair can be as little as two hours. In terms of the cost of machine uptime, that adds $80 to the cost of the failed pump. If the pump is not in stock, the turnaround time for repair could be at least a day. In terms of machine uptime, that would add $960 to the cost of the failed pump or more, plus expedited freight charges and all other costs that can add up quickly. In this case, the cost of failure ranges from about $2,000 on the low side to over $6,000 on the high side. Most plant systems multiply and magnify that cost impact because a single pump is responsible to feed resin to numerous machine lines. The bottom graphic now shows a vacuum pump system pulling plastic resin from a number of remote material sources to 10 injection molding machines. Multiplying the number in our example, 
the net cost of failure multiplied across 10 machines now ranges from about $3,000 on the low side to almost $15,000 on the high side. Customer impacts can also be significant. Machine downtime can lead to late shipments, potential penalties, and missed contract commitments. Your reputation as a reliable supplier can be put at risk, which can jeopardize future business. These are steep prices to pay for the failure of a single piece of equipment, and they illustrate why the, why the vacuum pump is considered the heart of your resin supply system. Like all machinery, pumps need regular maintenance and care, including checking filters, oil quality and levels, and blower or belt vibration. In fact, surveys have shown over 50% of industrial breakdowns are due to improper, improper lubrication. Lubrication and air filtration issues, when combined, account for anywhere from 60 to 75% of machinery maintenance and repair for general industrial machinery. We'll take a closer look at the problems caused when these keys to pump health are overlooked. Improper lubrication generally causes rapid pump damage. Any of the following practices causes excess heat buildup inside the pump and premature damage to critical pump components like gears, bearings, and seals. The first is operating a PD pump with improper oil level. The most obvious and quickest to do damage is an underfilled oil situation. This generates excessive heat and rapid metal wear, and the resulting metal contaminants can accelerate damage and compromise oil seals. A not so obvious lubrication issue is overfilled uh, oil. This also causes excessive heat because heat can't be dissipated effectively. The type of lubrication you use can also have harmful effects on your pump. PD pumps require synthetic industrial gear lubricant when used in most conveying applications due to the high heat of compression and temperatures that are generated. Using the incorrect lubricant can drastically reduce oil life. That can lead to operating the pump with oil that suffered thermal breakdown and a loss of viscosity, and that compromises the lubricating film needed to protect pump components. One final note, pumps with damaged gears, bearings, and seals can be rebuilt if the damage is caught early. The key is recognizing the problems before damage is done to the blower housing and the blower lobes. Let's change our focus to air filtration, the other very common problem with industrial machinery. Operating a pump with poorly maintained filters can cause excessive operating temperatures. The elevated temperatures result from increased vacuum levels or air starvation leading to lack of cooling. Clogged or damaged filters can lead to fines being pulled through the media into the pump, where high temperatures will melt the fines and cause them to accumulate on the housing and lobes. In extreme cases, the residue can score or gall interior surfaces or even lead to the pump seizing. The final problem for poor filter maintenance is reduced and inconsistent conveying performance. Finally, we'll continue that thought process and finish our problem discussion with a focus on conveying system operating conditions. Operating the system in an over vacuum condition, as we just mentioned, creates unstable conveying conditions and can reduce conveying rates. And more importantly, it creates excess heat and vibration and these can break down the pump components prematurely. High ambient or inlet air temperatures stress the blower. These can be the result of conveying heated materials or from inadequate ventilation near the pump. So let's talk about what can be done to detect and address the issues Jim just discussed. Traditionally, both vacuum sensing devices and vibration analyzers have been available for monitoring and diagnosing vacuum pumps and other industrial equipment. But while these tools can provide an indication of abnormal conditions or illustrate current operating status, users have faced limitations when attempting diagnostics. Typically, samples are collected manually at specific intervals, which requires time and resources. The data obtained is for a specific point in time, but the continually varying process conditions over time are what show trends that greatly affect vacuum pump life. When available, the data these traditional sensor tools provide requires specialized expertise to interpret, adding to the cost of ownership. Data that's captured needs to be manually stored and reassessed for future trend comparisons, which can be impractical as we're all forced to do more with less. 
For these reasons, MachineSense has developed a vacuum pump analyzer. This tool is an affordable, continuous onboard system to provide data and feedback. Think of it as a Fitbit for your vacuum pumps. MachineSense worked with Novatech to develop, test, and prove out this technology that's available on Novatech OEM pumps. Now it's also available for retrofit monitoring of most other positive displacement vacuum conveying pumps, including pumps built by Conair, Unidyne, AEC, Whitman, and others. The results are presented in easy to understand gauges and trends that require no specialized training to use. MachineSense leverages the Internet of Things technology to bring the analytic results, historical trends, and condition alerts to any computer, laptop, smart device, or phone with an internet access. You know, Tim, I'm often asked why this hasn't been done before, and the reason is that the IoT technology, internet accessibility, and the proliferation of consumer electronics has made the sensors, data collection, and analysis possible and affordable today. Remember, not long ago, it took hours to download a, mo a movie that we can now stream real-time, reliably, and at a fraction of the cost. The vacuum pump analyzer lets you know what's happening with your machine without being there. Consider it a permanent MRI for your machine. A peek under the cover of your pump or blower's housing to see what's going on inside based on vibration and vacuum trending. These trending measurements, along with ambient temperature and pressure, are constantly monitored by machine sense retrofit sensors that easily attach to the blower housing and pump stand. The resulting analytic trends track filter status, oil status, blower health, and pump utilization. The vacuum pump analyzer works by wirelessly transmitting sensor data to a machine sense data hub. This information is sent through a customer supplied network router to cloud-based servers running powerful analytic software. MachineSense's patent-pending analytics algorithm tracks and compares the collected data against an established baseline to determine overall pump or blower health, and it alerts you to changes in performance, allowing you to accurately diagnose problems before they happen. The retrofit process is quick and easy to do in four simple steps. First, check the belts, air filter, and oil to ensure normal operating conditions. Change or adjust as needed. Second, install the sensors on the pump itself. Third, install the data hub within 15 feet of the pump and plug it into a 115 volt AC outlet. And fourth, establish a network connection, either wired ethernet or Wi-Fi, using the wi Figurator app. Now you'll be ready to onboard and access the vacuum pump analyzer through Crystal Ball the machine monitoring and asset management web portal. Sensor mounting is so simple and straightforward, it can be done in less than 30 minutes. Just mount the control box to a clean surface on or near the pump assembly. Convenient Velcro fasteners are provided. Then place the blower sensor securely on the pump with the magnet mount. Next, install a T-tap at the vacuum gauge and connect the vacuum hose extending from the control. And finally, connect the control to the appropriate power source. Models are available in 115 AC or 24 volts DC. The Vacuum Pump Analyzer dashboard screen is the home page for your monitored pump, providing a streamlined summary of the powerful analytics. A user settable name for the selected pump will appear in the center of the screen. Use this page to view operating analytic gauges for your pump and access predictive analytic trends to diagnose pump bearing oil and filter health status. The dashboard also displays ambient operating conditions and the network connection status for the pump sensors. The key components for monitoring and maintaining vacuum pump health allow users to set up a condition-based maintenance program. These gray dashboard gauges provide access to health trends of these key components. The trend data illustrates an advanced analytic interpretation of the component condition. As trend lines deviate from the normal established baselines, alerts suggest actionable advice. The oil check metric tracks the health status of the oil, and trend patterns identify deteriorating conditions relating to low oil level or poor viscosity. The blower vibration metric tracks overall blower health, particularly the drive bearing and rotational balance, and can illustrate abusive operating conditions that lead to premature damage. The filter status metric 
tracks the health status of the air filter. This feature requires a vacuum breaker valve or idle mode valve to operate when no demands are present in the conveying system. This slide represents the trending available through the filter status dashboard. The actual filter data trend is the solid blue line. A warning threshold is displayed as a yellow dashed line to indicate filter cleaning is needed. An alarm threshold is displayed as a red dashed line to indicate the filter is plugged and could be causing excessive operating vacuums or severely limiting conveying performance. The warning and alarm thresholds are user settable based on actual observed conditions and they can be configured to trigger notifications that are sent to operators and to maintenance resources. Pump operating gauges provide utilization and sensor mounting status. The pump utilization gives percentages for actual on time and operation under conveying load. The sensor installation dashboard indicates whether the sensor is mounted properly on the machine. This unique analytic takes the guesswork out of retrofitting and ensures valid data. The operating vacuum over 24 hours gauge summarizes the cumulative operating vacuums for the pump during the previous day. Operating in the red zone needs to be corrected immediately, while operating in the yellow zone can lead to unstable conveying performance. When operating normally, the gauge will be in green. The vacuum frequency over 10 minutes gauge gives important insight into the current operating health of the blower and the conveying system. The vacuum pattern over four hours gauge gives you important insight into the pump and conveying system operating health during the prior four-hour period. All account users can elect to receive alerts via email or text. The information includes the asset name, gauge description, alert description, and associated maintenance advice. A summary email is also sent each day identifying current alerts. So Jim, circling back to the start, we've seen vacuum pumps are vital to plastics manufacturing processes. And when they stop, material stops, parts stop, and most importantly, money stops. We identified key vacuum pump problems in system operating conditions that lead to premature damage and unplanned or hidden downtime. The vacuum pump analyzer provides a new powerful tool to help processors get the most out of their vacuum pump and their conveying system. With it, you can identify deteriorating conditions as they happen with continuous 24-7 monitoring. You get real-time maintenance alerts sent via email and text. You can perform maintenance based on actual machine condition. And it's easy to use, easy to understand, and no specialized training or expertise is needed. Best of all, it'll help you avoid unplanned failure and downtime on vacuum conveying pumps. So this brings us to the conclusion of our webinar presentation. We'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of your busy days to join us, and we appreciate your interest. We'll be glad to answer any questions that were logged during the presentation, and we invite you to submit any final questions you may have at this time. Once again, thank you very much for attending. Great. And with that, um, we can jump into some of the questions we've gotten. Uh, the first one here, will the pump analyzer detect if the wrong oil is used? Hi, this is Jim. Um, it, it will in a way. So if the oil properties don't provide the right uh, lubrication, the right viscosity and so forth, uh, it will detect that the pump is uh, not operating normally. Uh, also, if if it does provide it, but it's, it's not the right, it, it's not synthetic as an example, uh, it will uh, wear very quickly and the pump analyzer will detect the fact that it's wearing quicker than normal and, and alert you to the fact that it does need to be uh, changed out. Okay. Um, uh, next question uh, related to pump maintenance. Uh, does it matter if pump maintenance is done before starting to collect data? So the, the data that it collects and the analytics that are, that are performed will be the same regardless of whether pump maintenance is done. But to, to have a, a better understanding of uh, what, your, uh, what, what the conditions are that represent um, poor operating conditions, dirty filters, oil chains, and so forth, 
uh, the deviation from that starting point is very important. Um, so to be accurate with your predictive analytics, um, it is important to start out with a with a, as good of a uh, baseline as possible. Okay, now that makes sense. Um, I've got another question here. Is there any way to limit access to the information between users? Yes, so there's, uh, uh, you're allowed up to 20 users and there are four or three access levels. Uh, there's a an admin that has access to uh, create accounts and uh, add assets, uh, zones and so forth. Um, you have uh, asset managers uh, and, and they can essentially put the pumps in, in other assets that, that you may monitor with other products um, into specific areas or zones of the plant. And then you have uh, just data viewers who are able to access the program, look at the data, um, use the, the maintenance advice and so forth um, to perform their, their uh, functions, but they won't have access to actually change uh, the setup or, or the assets and so forth. Okay, now that makes sense. Um, do we have any other questions? Looks like no. Um, with that, I'd, I'd like to thank uh, Jim and Tim for their time and their presentations, and also thank um, Machine Sense and Novatech uh, for, for putting on this uh, webinar. Um, to our attendees, you'll be sent a link to a recording of this webinar, and it'll also be uh, placed on the ptonline.com website. Um, actually, got another question here. Um, how many devices can be connected to each control box? Uh, that's a good question. So each pump analyzer um, would be connect. Would, so you would have one pump analyzer per pump, but uh, you can connect up to two pump analyzers to a single data hub. Um, so there's, uh, if you purchase a single unit, um, it's $750 with a data hub. If you purchase for two pumps with one data hub, it's it's um, just under $1,000. So um, there is a cost savings. Um, the more the more pumps that you uh, monitor, um, the fewer data hubs that you would need, and 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 that provides a savings. Okay, well, that makes sense. Um, excellent. Well, if we don't have any other questions, um, you know, thanks again to our presenters, and uh, thanks again to Machine Sense and Novatech, and thanks to our attendees today for taking some time out of their day. Um, as I mentioned. Uh, you'll be receiving a link to a recording of this presentation, and it'll also be on uh, the ptonline.com webpage under events. There's a webinars uh, tab. So um, with that, I'd, I'd like to thank all our um, attendees for spending some time with us this afternoon, and hope everybody has a great day. Thank you.